go. Oh Ooh. my! What do you gotta say about that? Um, Tech Deck sponsor me. Be great. Your face won't focus. <laughs> it's just too much for the camera. Too much. Mm. Dude, he can pick all these things. Get in the back. Charlie, oh, go on the side of me. Mitch, go on. I'm between the back and the No, it's fine. Should we back yet? No. Oh, well, That's the prime oh. spot right there. Wait. Okay, scoot over a little. Thirty start. Yeah, we it's can. going. Okay. Hi guys, my name is Noah Watson. I'm Becca Watson. I'm Mitch Pollock, not Watson. And I'm uh Charlie Gribus. And today we're going to be doing a review on the Arbiter hey. 36 DK by Original Skateboards. My. All right. This board comes in at 36.9 inches long with a width of 9.5 inches and has wheelbase options from 18 inches to 21 inches. 21. 21. 21. Okay, good, good. In the lineup, there's three different boards. There's the Arbiter, the Arbiter KT, and the Arbiter DK, and each one has like they each four different things. Like the first arbiter, that's for more like downhill. Like three boards. Not four. I didn't say four, did I? Prove it. <laughs> all right, these three boards—they're all for different things, you know. You have the original OG arbiter, which is meant for downhill. OG. Oh, and the KT, which is more of a free ride oriented board. You can also do some street tricks on it, but if you're gonna do street tricks, you gotta get arbiter DK. Yeah, it's got two kicks. It's like the arbiter KT, just cut in half and mirrored. So. It's a really nice board. You have a lot of wheelbase options to put your trucks, and yeah, you can customize it so you like it. I mean, let's see what was I gonna say. I like it. This board also comes with some really deep, big wheel wells, so you won't have any chance of getting wheel bite. Yeah, and um, even with peewees. Even with peewees. <laughs> Unlike some boards, which have like only enough. Um, Wheel clearance? Well, it, they only have wheel wells on, for certain wheel bases. The Arbiter DK, it has huge wheel wells, so no matter what wheel base you're going to be on, you're you going to have... Re, you could probably re-drill an inch in and still not get it. But. Yeah, it's... Yeah, and you're, you're pretty safe, nothing to worry about there. Yeah, so that's good. Also, yeah, yeah. um, let's see how with all the Arbiters, it has 0.5 inches of rocker, and which I recently found out is different from Concave. So yeah. Also has nine ply of stiff maple. Nine plies. Nine ply. Nice and stiff. Nine ply maple. Nice and stiff. Very yeah, stiff. Yeah, this, bo this board comes in I'm with. Stiff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm stiff with my nine plies. Okay, well this board has is nine ply is made up of nine plies of maple. So you won't need stiff to worry. Maple. Stiff maple. So you won't need to worry about any cracks I'm or. Stiff. No flex the at all in this board. It's gonna be no really flex. sturdy. No flex. No, no flex. Zone. No flex zone. No flex zone. <laughs> Another good thing. Let's think about this shirt. What? <laughs> Another good thing about this board is that the concave runs up until the up into the tail, so not no matter where you put your foot, you'll have concave. Some people when they free ride, they like to have one foot on the board, like the not the kick tail, and then their back foot on the kick tail, and now. Like, like, like them this, San Francisco like, like street shredders. So when you, you're gonna have your foot here, they're crazy. and they're gonna have concave. And no it's gonna matter be what, and you're, you're gonna be locked in on those uh, sidewalks when you're sidewalks shredding in uh, San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. totally. I like San Francisco. There's a nice pocket in between the kicktail yeah. and the actual right. board where it meets. A good pocket for your toe sides and heel sides and any sort of tricks, so your feet won't be sliding all over the place. Run. No, I don't know how much pop it has. Wait, I gotta catch it. I wonder how much pop is Tech Deck has. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! That was sweet. Noah, how much pop do you think Tech Deck has? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. A lot of pop. I was the dumbest kid ever. Is that all you have to do for you? Mm -hmm. you review? That was a pretty easy review. Okay, we gotta sign out now. Get on this side. Alright, guys. Alright guys. Right, guys, so that has been our super duper quick rundown on the Arbiter 36DK. Hopefully that helped and made you want to get this board because oh. this board is super nice, super good, and super nice, and super oh, good. Yeah, yeah and uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below. And if you're feeling good today, make sure you subscribe to Watson Brothers Escape by clicking subscribe. Yep, so this has been Noah. 
That's it. We need to get to a thousand subscribers. Bitch. Then we're gonna do a video competition. So you know. Check me out on TechDeck.com. Try it. Go. Yeah. <laughs>